In this video we are going to be making a guess the number game using Python code. So what we have to do in this game is guess a number between 1 and 50. Okay, so you can see that right there on the first line. If you guess the number correct, the game stops and it tells you that you've got the um, number guessed correctly. If you don't get it right, then the game will tell you whether you need to guess higher or lower. So I'll show you how it works. We'll just start by typing in 25 and it tells us we need to guess lower. So let's go to 15. Still lower, try 5, nope, try 10, lower than 10, we're nearly there, there it is, so it was 8, it says you guessed the number correctly and the game ends. Okay, so a pretty simple game, um, there's not too much code to it either, so let's get started. I need you to open up Python and make yourself a new file. Okay, and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to import a library of code and it's going to be the random library okay now we're going to be using that library to help us generate a random number between 1 and 50 okay so that's what we might do now so first up we're going to create a variable called number and we're going to set that equal to random okay so we're looking inside this random library of code here dot rand range so that's a random range between 1 and 50 okay so basically says here our number variable is going to store a value okay and it's going to be a random value anything between 1 and 50 okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another variable called guess and what we want to do here is get the user to guess a number between 1 and 50. Whatever they guess is going to be stored in this variable here called guess. Okay, so we'll write guess equals, and we'll just put input, and in brackets and quotation marks, guess a number between 1 and 50, colon, space, oops, quotation marks, brackets, to close that off. Now, one more thing I want to add to this line here is at the moment we're asking the user to enter num a number between 1 and 50 okay and the computer will recognize whatever the user types in as a string so a string of characters that could be letters or numbers or whatever okay but what we want to do is we want to make sure that the user types in a number so we're going to convert whatever the user types in here into an integer and if they don't type a number they'll get an error message Okay, so before the word input, what I want you to do is write the word int, which stands for integer, open up a bracket, and then right at the end, close that bracket. So now whatever the user types in for their guess, it will be an integer. Alrighty. So going down a bit further, we'll keep going. We're going to be using a loop for the main part of our code here. Okay, so while the user has not got the guess correct, then we're going to keep playing the game. It's only when the user gets their guess correct that the game stops. So we're going to write in while guess is not equal to. So this symbol here means not equal to. So while our guess is not equal to number. So while the guess the user makes is not equal to the random number we come up, we've come up with, then we need to run some code. So put a colon, press enter, and make sure your mouse cursor has been indented. Okay, just shows the code that's going inside of this while loop. Okay, first of all, we're going to write in if our guess is less than the number, put a colon, indent your mouse cursor again, and we're going to print a message saying you need to guess higher. Try again. Okay, just close your quotation marks and your brackets. And then we're simply going to copy this line up here. So control C to copy it and put it beneath this print line. Okay, so guess equals int input. And we might put this onto a new line. So I'll just put backslash n just there. Okay, that just makes a new line for this um, sentence to appear. Alright, so that's what we get if the user guesses a number that is too high. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, oh sorry, too low. Next thing we're going to do is the alternative. So if they guess a number that is greater or bigger 
than the random number. So we'll just write in else, put in print, you need to guess lower. Try again. Close your quotation marks and your brackets. And again, we're going to copy this line of code here to give the user another guess. Just paste it in along here. Okay. Once the user gets their guess correct, what we'll do is just go down a couple of lines and move our mouse cursor back to the edge of the page and just put in print. And you guessed the number correctly. Close your quotation marks and your brackets. And that should be it. So let's quickly go over this one more time. We first of all bring in the random library. Okay, and that allows us to choose a random number between the range of 1 and 50. And that random number is stored in a variable called number. Okay, on the next line, we let the user have a guess at what that random number is. Okay, so that's the input line there. When the user makes a guess, we then perform the calculation to work out if they've got it right, wrong, um, and whether they need to guess higher or lower. Okay, so while our guess is not equal to the random number, we need to have a look if the guess is less than the random number, then they need to guess higher. Okay, and they get another guess just there. Else means what's the alternative? So if the guess that the user makes is bigger than the random number, we need to tell them to guess a bit lower. Okay, and they try again, and they have another guess. And that while loop will just keep repeating over and over again. We'll keep asking the user for guesses until they get that number correct. Okay, when they do, it just jumps out of this loop. Okay, so that's our loop there. It will jump out of that and come down here to the last line and just print, you guessed the number correctly. And that will be the end of our code. So let's save that and just test it to make sure it is working. Just call it guess the number. And we'll press F5 to run. Okay, so you can see down here where it's starting. Guess a number between 1 and 50. 30, 20, 25, 27, there we go. So that seems to be working all right. I kept the get a guess lower or higher, and eventually I got it correct. That's looking good. Okay, so that is our code right there. I would recommend putting some comments in if you get the time. Okay, but I won't show you that in this video.